Hello everyone, welcome to another video of my channel. Today I'd like to discuss on a common and interesting problem named longest increasing subsequence. So let's get started. Let's see what does this problem say. It says that given an integer array nums, return the length of the longest strictly increasing subsequence. At first, let's learn what does this subsequence mean. This subsequence mean that a portion of an array which is not necessarily to be contagious. We need to find out the longest increasing subsequence of an array that means the subsequence which will have the most number of length and it will be sorted in in an increasing order so let's see in this example the longest increasing subsequence length is 4 which is 2 3 7 and 100, 101 we can also get an a subsequence of length 4 which is 2 5 7 and 101 in the next example the subsequence 0 1 2 3 this is the longest having length 4 and in the last example simply since all elements are same the longest subsequence is having length 1 here the constraints are that the length of the array can be at most 2500 and this is the range of each value of an array now let's see how we can solve this problem here we have taken an array this array has eight elements as the caption says we will be solving this problem using dynamic programming approach and we all know that the main idea of solving a problem using dynamic programming approach is we would like to divide the total problem in smaller sub problems and we will try to solve it using a recurrence relation and satisfying the base case so at first let's take a an array having similar size of this array so this array has eight elements so we will be taking an array having eight elements we have taken an dp array same as that size of the given array now we fill the initial base case so we all know that the a array not being empty the minimum length or we can say minimum longest length of a subsequence is each element itself that means the minimum length will be one so we simply fill up all this value all the all the cells of this array with one which is our base now we start performing the recurrence relation and gradually solving each sub problem we solve the whole problem for this we will take two variables named i and j i will start from index one and end at the last index for each i, j will start from the 0th index to the immediate leftmost index of i. What i will indicate is that for each index, we are trying to find out the length of the maximum subsequence up to that index, which means that we are solving each sub problems and thus gradually we are solving the whole problem now let's get started here what we will compare is that we see if the element as i at ith index is greater than that in j since we want to find out the longest increasing subsequence that means we will only be interested when the element at ith index will be greater than that in j otherwise we skip since here the element at ith index is not greater than that then then that is the jth index we ignore it and we increment the value of i by one now also the same thing happens ith element is not greater than that in j so uh, now we increment the value of j now the same thing so we do nothing we will increment i by one and initialize j to zero similarly in this case both 10 and 9 being greater than 5 we take i j here now if we have a closer look at these two element we see that 
the ith element which is 5 that is greater than the jth element that means 2 now here the important point maybe you can tell it the most important point when we get this thing that means here we have got an increasing subsequence what we do is we update the value the corresponding ith value of dp array what we do we up increment the ith index of dp array with one so here it will be two one thing to mention is how we increment it what we do is we check the jth jth index the value of jth index in dp array and we increment that value by one and place in the ith index now we increment i by one and initialize j to zero here similarly for these two elements the ith value is not greater than that in j so we take j here in this case we here we also get an increasing subsequence the ith element is greater than that in j what we do we update the ith index of the dp array that means this one now we update how we take the jth value in dp array that is one and increment it by one so we will update this cell to two we can see that five is already greater than three so keeping j here we do not need to do anything if we have a closer look at this up to this index we can very well say that up to this very index the longest subsequence length is 2 we can see that this that is 2 3 and 2 5 so up to this index we have already got our answer or we you can say that the we are gradually solving the subproblem now i goes to this index and j is initial here we can similarly see that for these two very elements or index the ith is ith elements value is not greater than them so j comes to here j comes here since 7 is greater than 2 we will have to update this index how we update it we take this one and increment it by one so here we will have two now j is incremented by one here also seven is greater than by five so we again need to update this value that means our value here will be two plus one that means three j gets incremented again seven is greater than th three when we will be up and the value at jth index is two which will be updated by one that means three but we already have three here so this ith index need not to be updated we simply increment ith index and initialize the jth index to zero here we got an interesting thing 101 is the greatest number in this array so for all this index this the ith element will be greater than that in jth element at first here we got 10 so the value at 10 is 1 which will be incremented by 1 we get 2 we update this one to 2 now j comes here here again we get 1 we will update we add 1 with 1 and we get 2 but we already have 2 here so we do nothing same case goes for this element we do we already have the largest value now when we come here our value will become 3 so we will update this to 2 3 again when we come to this index the value what we if you increment 2 by 1 we get 3 3 is already here now let's have a look at this index in this index we have 3 if we increment 3 by 1 we get 4 4 being greater than 3 we will update this index to 4 now i is incremented and it goes to the last position i am not gonna show it here it's a task for you guys you try to execute this comparison maybe in your notebook or somewhere else and try to find out and try to update this cell accordingly but what i can say is 
after the whole iteration that means when j will come to this index what we will get is 4 because this subsequence is 4 this is one of the longest subsequence so you try to do it yourself now let's solve this problem in lit code so this is the problem in lit code and we have implemented the solution in the discussed way in c plus plus now let's run it and we got a success i hope you guys have understood this problem both the link of this problem and the solution will be given in the description box thanks for watching the video Thank you.